In the last video, I showed you how to set up merge fields in the editor so that you can dynamically create videos. If you haven't watched that video, I'd recommend checking that first before we do this one. In this video, I'm going to show you how to dramatically generate videos using the command line. I've gone ahead and opened up our video from last time. Last time we set up merge fields with our text, key and video and added these to our text here and to the video clip using the drop down here. The code snippet tool here generates code in a bunch of different languages and different formats, but we're going to go ahead and use curl for this example. And we're also going to use the template ID version, which means we call the API with a template ID. So let's go ahead and copy this curl command. Open up your terminal command line and paste that in. I'm going to add a command here, JSON PP that will format our response and make it look a bit prettier. So we send that request to the API with the ID, with our merge fields, and we've got back a response saying it's been successfully queued. And most importantly, we have an ID here, which we'll use in the next step to get the status of that render. So next we want to send a get request to the API with our ID, and that looks something like this. Here you can see we're calling the V1 render endpoint, and I've added in the ID returned from the pre previous request at the end. If we go ahead now and submit that, we can get a response which says the status is done, and here we have the URL of the video that we just created. So we can go ahead and open that in a browser and see how that looks. So we've got our video with the text merged in and the background video. So returning to the command line editor, what we can do now is modify those merge fields and create a completely different video. So if we recall the command, we can go in here, change the text to something different, fantastic. And the URL will change to another video, sunset. So let's return that. Again, we've got a success response and a new ID here. So let's copy that, update the status request with the new ID, and now we've got another video. So let's check this one out. And there you go. We've got a completely different video. The text has changed and the background video has changed. So if you're a developer, that should give you an idea of just how easy it is to programmatically generate videos using code. Of course, you're more likely to want to use the programming language of your choice or one of our SDKs. And you can find a whole lot more about that in our documentation and guides on the website. Thanks for watching and I'm thrilled to see what you're going to build with the ShotStack API.